Okay, time for our grand finale here of stoichiometry examples. For this particular reaction, we've got calcium reacting with hydrochloric acid. That calcium is going to kick the hydrogen out so it can pair up with the chloride ion. So calcium's plus two and chloride's minus one. So that's going to make CaCl2. When hydrogen gets kicked out over here by itself, remember hydrogen's a Hofbrinkel, so we're going to have H little 2. Then we need to balance this guy overall, so we would need a 2 here, and the rest must be 1s. Now that we have that part down, let's read what is he asking us. It tells us we've got 100 milliliters of 6 capital M, the way you'd read that out loud is molar, 6 molar hydrochloric acid is mixed with enough calcium to complete the reaction. And just in case you don't remember that capital M, what that stands for, what molar means, that's how many moles there are per liter. So if the density of hydrogen gas is 0 0.073 grams per liter, how many liters of hydrogen gas are produced? Ooh, there's a lot of numbers given to us. We have both the 100 the 6, and the 0 0.073. Now when you're deciding where should I start, which number should I start with, when you either see the word or if you were to read the stuff out loud and say the word per, those are conversion factors. You don't want to start with those. You want to start with simple units. So this is grams per liter. The capital M stands for moles per liter. So we don't want to start with either one of these numbers. The units are complicated. We're going to start with that 100 milliliters of HCl. Now our flow chart says we have to get those 100 milliliters of HCl into moles. And we're at milliliters. But we can't use the 22.4 conversion factor to get us into moles because those are only for gases at STP. Hydrochloric acid is typically in aqueous solution, um, so we can't use that 22.4. We have to get it into moles some other way. And it gives us a way to get there when it gave us this concentration here. Because we know that it's 6 moles per liter, if we could get our volume into liters, then we can use that 6 to get our liters into moles. So we know that there's a thousand milliliters in a liter. Now I could get rid of those liters using this 6 capital N, that there's 6 moles per liter. So for every one liters worth of HCl, we have 6 moles worth of HCl packed into that volume. So we made it to the second box of our flow chart in a slightly strange way. Didn't follow the typical patterns, but we got there. Now that we're at moles of our hydrochloric acid, now we need to use the balanced equation to get to moles of the other substance. So if we're at HCl and we're eventually trying to get to how many liters of hydrogen gas are produced, we're going to compare HCl to hydrogen. It's a 2 to 1 ratio because I want the HCl moles to cancel out. I'm going to put those 2 moles of HCl on the bottom. For every 1 moles worth of hydrogen gas, we're at box 3 of that flow chart here. Now we need to get that into whatever unit it's asking for. Well, the unit that it's asking for is liters, so we have to get moles to liters. But again, it doesn't tell us that it's at STP, so we can't use that 22.4 conversion factor. We have to get there some other way, and then we have another way. It gave us this density that we could get it into liters if we were at grams. Well, we could get it into grams because we're at moles. So... We're going to go moles to grams, then grams to liters. So moles of hydrogen into grams of hydrogen, we need the molar mass of H2. So since each hydrogen has a molar mass of one gram, when we put two of those guys together, it would weigh two grams. 
Now we're almost there. We're at grams. It wants liters, and we have a grams to liters link. Because we want the grams to cancel out and go away, I'm going to put the 0 0.073 part of that conversion factor on the bottom and the one liter on the top. We made it. Liters of hydrogen. Everything else cancels out. Milliliters, liters of HCl, moles of HCl, moles of hydrogen, grams of hydrogen. We got there. Now it's just a matter of typing it through on your calculator. This guy, we only get to keep one sig fig because that molarity that it gave us was kind of crummy. Only had one sig fig. So when you type this through on your calculator, we only get to keep one sig fig. So our answer would be 8 liters of hydrogen.